So recently, I've been scrolling through my installed programs and found Scratch. Scratch is basically a game engine based on visual scripting to introduce programming to beginners. I made some terrible Scratch games before with horrible collisions, quite bad art and awful sounds. I made way better games in C and there was not really a point in using Scratch for me. Or maybe that was the point. I thought, what could I create in an hour or two? What about a physics engine? That couldn't be that difficult, right? I didn't want to make it myself too difficult, so I just chose a bunch of equally sized balls as my objects. The collision is actually quite simple. I stored all the positions in lists since I have no idea how I can access other sprites with scripts and checked if the distance was lower than twice the radius. If that's the case, balls collide. Essentially, they only calculate a vector from point A to point B and adjust their velocities according to it. The rest of the code is just to ensure that the speed, the magnitude of the vector is the same as the initial speed of the ball that collided with it. And with that, the collision engine was basically done. Great, right? But not enough. Why stop at a collision engine when you can make an entire game? And luckily, there already exists one that is basically just ball physics. I extended my engine to work with different sized balls, which I did by adding another list with sizes. I changed the spawning, added merging, which was fairly easy even though it has some issues now and again. And with that, the basic game logic is done and it just needed to look good. Things like the color effect provided by Scratch were actually really helpful, but there was no easy way to display score other than using terrible speech bubbles or variable displays. I wrote my own number display screen and it's far from perfect, but it works I guess. And I don't have to do a lot of manual work, which is also great. With that, the game was done. I don't plan on continuing it, didn't even plan to make a devlog about it in the first place, but I think I invested too much time into it. Anyway, you can play the game on the Scratch website, the link is in the description. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Before you go, let me know if I should make real Scratch tutorials or something. But I guess it's better if I just continue developing my other games and upload devlogs more often. Bye!